a big mountain. Mountain, yeah? Okay. Now, the first thing we are going to do today is we are going to learn a little bit about trees. What are trees? Trees, anybody? Tree. This is a tree, yes? Yeah. Can we all say tree? Tree. Tree. Very good. Tree. So, now, trees are very special. Trees are very good. They help us to breathe. And they give us food. Trees are very, very special. Hmm? They are very good for the planet. For our planet. Planet Earth. Yes? Now, today, what we are going to do, we are going to learn the names of the different parts of the tree. Yeah? The different parts of the tree. Now, the first part of the tree is the part of the tree that goes down into the ground. Yeah? The part of the tree that grows down into the ground and takes the water from the ground and it stops the tree from falling over or blowing over in the wind. Does anyone know the word? The roots of the tree. The roots. Huh? Huh? Ah, the roots. Now, when you see a tree, did you know that under the ground there can be as many roots as this, like this? Oh, yes. Now, roots. The word is roots. Can we all say that? After three? One, two, three. Roots. Roots. Very good. And again, roots. 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 Okay. Now you have to remember, because in English, the R sound, r r r is very soft. It's not like the R here. It's not like r r It's r So it's roots. <coughs> One more time. Roots. Roots. Good. Roots. So we have the roots at the bottom of the tree. They grow down into the ground. Now the next part of the tree is the part of the tree that grows up. Up, 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 sometimes very high into the sky. And that is called the trunk. The trunk of the tree. Trunk, trunk. So here we have, again, we have the R. And the T, like in the word tree. Tree, trunk. Can we say trunk? Yeah. Trunk. Okay. Now, remember, the first thing is the roots, yes? Take our hands, we go down to the ground. Then we do the trunk, branches, and the leaves. Are you ready, yeah? And roots, trunk, branches, and leaves. Can you name the different parts of the tree? And roots, trunk, and leaves. Can you see them? Blowing in the breeze. Very good, everybody. Now, what do you hear you say the words to, yeah? You listen to me and you say the words. And roots, trunk, branches, and leaves. These are the different parts of the tree. The roots, the trunk, the branches, and the leaves. Look at the beautiful green leaves. Very good. Okay, now, I think it's very good, but I couldn't hear you saying the words. So remember, when we say roots, go down into the ground. Imagine you go down, roots. And then we say trunk, and remember, try and be a big, tall tree, trunk. And then stretch those branches, branches, and then the leaves, okay? So I'm going to do it again now. I want to hear your voices, okay?
want to smell my stripy? Stripy and all the smelly socks. Stripy suitcase, stripy and smelly socks. So things with spots are spotty and things with stripes are stripy. Can you think of any stripy animals? Zebra. Zebra. Okay, remember the Z in English. Z everybody? Z zebra. Zebra. Very good. Zebra. Anyone? Tiger. Tigers are stripy, aren't they? Zebras, tigers. Has anyone here got any stripes on their clothes? I can see some people with football shirts. They've got stripes. No? Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Without your help, I would have been taken away to the city and put in the zoo. You are the most helpful hippopotamus in the whole world. By the way, said the zebra, I do like your green skin and purple spots. You are not just the most helpful, but you are the prettiest hippopotamus in the whole world. So now, Humpy Rumpy, the spotted hippopotamus, felt a little bit happier. Just a little bit. Because he had helped another animal, the zebra. Humpy Rumpy said goodbye to the zebra, and he set off once again across the savannah. Again, he walked and walked and walked for a long, long time. And there was not much to see. Just miles and miles, kilometers and kilometers, of flat land, lots of tall grass and hardly any trees. He walked, and he walked. Then, Humpy Rumpy saw, up ahead in a tree, another animal. It was up in the tree. It was a spotty animal. Spotty, like Hedgehogs. People have been telling stories for thousands and thousands of years. Before writing existed, storytelling was the only way to pass on information from generation to generation. Centuries ago, the only social media was storytelling. Stories are a fantastic way for all of us to learn about the past, the present, and the future. And the stories that I tell are in English. So it's also a fantastic way for all of you to listen, to learn, and to improve your English. Yes? Okay. Now, the story I'm going to tell you today starts in a sweet shop. A sweet shop. A sweet shop is a shop where you buy Candy, no sweets. Uh, candy. That, in English we say sweets. You know, candy is from the USA, yeah? but in English, from England, that's why it's called English. We say sweets. It's a sweet shop. You can say candy if you want. So, sweet shops sell sweets. Yeah. All children love sweets. Yeah. Little children, big children, medium-sized children, hard sweets. Soft sweets, chewy sweets, yeah? pink sweets, orange sweets, green sweets, sweets that make the tongue go blue, and chocolate. Chocolate? Everybody loves chocolate, huh? Yeah. 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 Hands up if you don't like chocolate. Good. You don't like chocolate? No. You don't like chocolate? No. That's good for you. It's good to be different, isn't it? Yeah? And what about the teachers? Do you like chocolate? Yeah. Now, teachers, you know, on Fridays, when they get home, they eat loads and loads of chocolate. It's 
because of the stress all week with you guys. You know? yeah. Okay, so the story starts in a switch. Once upon a time, there were two children, and their names were Toto and Mary. It was a Friday afternoon, and Toto and Mary were on their way to the sweet shop. They went to the sweet shop nearly every day. Yeah? They went there all the time. Their mother was always telling them that you eat too many sweets and that sweets had too much sugar, and that they should eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. Mary and Toto would simply moan, moan, moan. It's not fair. Complain, complain, complain. All our friends get to buy lots more sweets than us. 